we're here. Should we go over some tips for traveling with the marching band? Absolutely. Now, traveling with the band for the first time can definitely be just a little bit scary if you haven't been away from home before or if you haven't gone on a school trip like this, but it is nothing to worry about. By the end of this video, you will be all set. First things first, you want to be organized. Again, not everybody is super great at organization. I feel you because I'm not either. But if you keep track of your stuff as to the best of your ability, life will be so much easier for yourself and everybody around you. You definitely want to make sure that you keep track of your boarding passes, any meal cards, all of your money from yourself or from the band given to you for food purposes, Room keys, for sure. Um, any ticket of any kind. I'm telling you, you want to make sure that you keep track of all of these things to the very best of your ability. Now, trust me, I get it 100%. On our trips, we're super excited. We're getting very limited amounts of sleep. And it's just like the best time ever. And it can be super hard to keep track of all of your stuff. But... If you want to make sure that you don't ruin your own time. How do you do that? Hey guys, see, see this wonderful jacket that, well, it's provided for you for a reason. I mean, not just to keep you warm. You can utilize its wonderful pockets right here to keep any ticket, any boarding pass, any important item that you do not want to let go. You got your jacket pockets. You... It's always nice to have a lanyard around with you or a small bag or purse to just make sure that you keep track of all of your stuff. I didn't think you wanted to end up like these guys. I need, I needed my ticket to get in here? I think I left, I'm, I, I, um, I, I, who said we, we never needed. Bye. I mean, after all, you don't want to spend your time in command post, do you? I'm gonna answer that one for you, and you absolutely do not. Another thing that you want to make sure you do is that you have everything that you're going to need before you turn in your suitcase. I know, guys, I'll be out in a second, okay? I just, I just have to brush my teeth and put on some deodorant. I have my toothpaste. I highly doubt you want to be the one that's spending several days in Florida or Hawaii without deodorant. Phew, good thing that was just a dream because you do not want to spend your trip without all the clothing or hygiene that you need. You want to make sure that you are always getting along with your roommates. You want to be in a room full of your best friends, but there's no talking because everybody's cranky and fighting with each other. Don't spend all your money. It's as simple as that. Don't talk to strangers either. Always listen to all of our directors and all of our chaperones and people that are putting in so much work to keep us happy. So we wanna make sure to listen to them and keep them happy. Another thing is to make sure you're not late ever. I mean, whether that is in the airport, whether that's coming down for breakfast in the morning, whatever it is, don't be late because you don't want command posts, like I said before. Every minute that you're late is an hour in command posts. Okay, here's my last one, and it's a pretty big one in my books. You want to be positive. POSITIVE! I get it, this could be hard sometimes after a super long day. But, I challenge you, personally you, talking to you right now, to put all of that aside when you're on your trip. I can do this, because I know for a fact that you are going to be surrounded with amazing people and you're going to be doing what you love in an amazing place that maybe you've never been before so why would you want to spend your time being cranky think of all of the hard work and especially all of those subs that you have gotten up at 3 a.m to make like that's pretty crazy everybody around you including yourself like i said has put in so much work and time and effort to get to where you are so don't complain, don't be cranky, enjoy yourself, because 
it's the most amazing time ever. I made some of my best memories with all of my friends on trips. So, just... Hey guys, it's Katie, and I'm here to tell you some airport do's and don'ts for whenever you're on a trip with the Henfield Band. Don't lose your boarding pass. It is super, super important to keep your boarding pass with you at all times, and it's going to be really bad if you lose it. You don't want command posts, so make sure you always have that. Do keep your boarding pass in a safe space. I usually like to put it in the pocket of the windbreaker because it zips shut, so that way it's with me at all times. If I'm going to get a snack or something, I know it's right there with me, and I will usually come back and check to make sure it's there every once in a while. Don't sit on the floor in the airport. Make sure you're not in the way of people. That's definitely something you don't want to do. But do sit on the chairs that are obviously provided. The floor is dirty anyway, so it's not going to be fun just to sit on that cold floor. Make sure you're sitting in a seat and you're out of the way of anybody who needs to get by or is going somewhere in the airport that isn't part of the van. Don't be rude to security. Although it is kind of annoying to have to go through security, please make sure you're respectful towards them. It's just gonna make the process a lot easier and there's really no reason to get worked up about it. Do be friendly towards them. Even though sometimes they can be grumpy, it's really important to be friendly towards security because they're just doing their job to make sure that we're safe and that everyone else on our flight is safe as well. Stop! What are you doing? Don't break the wall with a hammer! So you're saying I shouldn't break this hotel wall with this hammer? Yes! That's exactly what I'm telling you. You know they check the rooms at the beginning of the trip and the end of the trip? At the beginning of the trip, the chaperone and the room leader go into the room and go through a checklist of everything there. And then at the end of the trip, they go through the same checklist to make sure nothing's lost or gone or damaged. So doing that would be a really bad idea. Oh, yeah. And how'd you even get a hammer through the luggage check? You know the band parents check our luggages before we come on the trip. Never forget your room key. Wait, where's my... My room key? Can't seem to... Wait! Don't let that door close! Ugh, so glad I brought my speaker. We can play loud music all night. You know what? Let's go to Anna Marie's room and play this, you know, even though it's lights out. <laughs> Where are you going? You know what's after lights out. And why do you have that big speaker? We can't be loud at night, or else we're going to get a very unhappy knock on our door. Oh, huh. well, I guess I'll stay here, and I won't play my loud music. I forgot. We're not allowed to leave our room after a certain time, and we're not allowed to be loud after a certain time. So don't do either one of those things. <laughs>